Hey, what's up? Back with your boy Luke. Guys, check this out. Another day, another hooker, another interview. Guys, today I'm here with a girl from Venezuela and snatched her right up off street corner. I'm gonna get an interview. And you might wonder why we're sitting in the lobby of a hotel. And the reason why we're sitting in a lobby and we're not actually in the hotel is because here in Colombia, Venezuelans without papers, immigration papers, cannot enter the hotels. So she can't enter the hotel. She's fled a crisis, a bad situation. She's here in Bogota now, and she's making the best of it. So I'm going to ask her questions in Spanish about what the life is like here, what her life is working the streets here, and then what her life is like living here. And then I'm going to translate that back to English for you guys to hear what she says. So stick with me, and we'll go from there. ¿Cuántos años tienes? 20. She's 20 years old. <clears throat> And I'm going to ask her how long she's been here in Colombia. ¿Y cuántos años tienes aquí en Colombia? Cinco años. She's been in Colombia for five years. Okay. Um, y I'm going to ask her how she left Venezuela and how she arrived at the, basically, the, the hooker place that she arrived at. ¿Cómo es que saliste de Venezuela? ¿Caminando o a pie? O en bus. En bus? Sí. She left Venezuela on a bus. Did you have any... Um, no tenías amigos aquí, familia aquí. No. So she left Venezuela really? on a bus when she was 15 years old. Tenía 15 años cuando saliste. Sí. Y llegaste directamente a la Santa Fe. So at 15 years old, she arrived here and she fell into that game uh, on the street immediately. So, you know, that's terrible. A 15-year-old girl in the United States is a sophomore in high school. She doesn't have a driver's license. And this girl kicked out of her home country starvation pretty much fled an economic crisis and she winds up you know selling herself on the streets of Bogota which is another and the whole another country so you guys imagine that and, and what she's been through now I'm gonna get into that we're gonna start talking to her about that um tienes familia aquí en, en la Santa Fe o como están las cosas allá la vida es peligroso te han robado, te han golpeado, no. o cómo están las cosas allá. O sea, ahí no hay, no hay peligro porque hay personas que defienden a uno, a las mujeres que trabajan ahí. Ajá. Y, o sea, nunca me han robado, nunca me han faltado el respeto, uh -huh. nunca nada, siempre me han tratado bien. Gracias a Dios. Sí. Now, she just said that, you know, luckily she's never been robbed, she's never been uh, beaten up. She's like, everybody has always respected her and everyone has always treated her very well, okay? Now that's what she's saying, but can you imagine being 15 years old and being thrown into that game? That, that's, that's terrible. Y, um, aquí, ¿tienes niños? ¿Estás casado? O... Tengo una bebé. Mm -hmm. She does have one kid, one kid. ¿Y, y piensas estar aquí en Bogotá mucho tiempo? Sí, hasta que se como de Venezuela. <laughs> She thinks that she's going to be here a long time in Bogota because the situation in Venezuela is really bad. And I'm going to ask her why she keeps working on the street. Why don't she get a job in a factory or something else? ¿Y por qué no consigues un trabajo en una maquila o en otra parte? ¿Es difícil o sí, te gusta el trabajo o sea, que ya haces? me acostumbré a, a trabajar y agarrar dinero en Santa Fe y es muy difícil salir. Mm -hmm. She said basically that, you know, she's accustoms herself to working at the Santa Fe and she's making money and it's hard to leave. It's hard to leave the lifestyle. I'm going to ask her about drug use now. Muchas mujeres usan drogas ahí. Sí. Mm -hmm. She said, yes, a lot of girls use drugs. Es una cosa que no tienes que contestar, pero usas drogas tú. No. No. She, did, she said she does not use drugs. Pero muchas mujeres sí. Sí. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask her about, you know, transvestites and gay prostitutes and things like that, too. Hay muchos um, hombres trabajando en la Santa Fe también, gays, y muchos trans y todo, todo sí. eso, por todos sí. lados. Y entonces, no están trabajando en un bar, andan en todos lados. Hay muchos bares, no. Ellos tienen su, su calle para ellos, y uh -huh. nosotros, las mujeres, aparte también. She said, like, the girls have their own streets that they're allowed to work, and then the transvestites, they have their own streets that they're allowed to work. It's all separated. It's all controlled. So I'm going to ask her now if she charges gringos more money than locals. 
cobran más dinero las mujeres allá a los gringos que los, los mexicanos o los colombianos? ¿O no? No, siempre cobramos 40 uh -huh. y a ellos pagan la habitación. Uh -huh. A veces que, o sea, obviamente que lo, los gringos sí nos pagan una hora, dos horas. Uh -huh. She says that the... Um... She charges 40,000 Colombian pesos, okay, for full service. Now, 40,000 Colombian pesos, ¿cuánto? Como, como 10 dólares, 40 mil pesos. Sí. That's $10, guys. That's $10 is what this girl charges. Um, so can you just imagine the, the economic difficulties that they're on? That's, that's wild. Um, y... I'm going to ask her if she plans on ever going back to Venezuela and how the working situation is in Venezuela. Um, ¿Y nunca has regresado a Venezuela ni para visitar? Sí. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Te gusta? Sí, claro. ¿Sí? Y si trabajas en Venezuela, en lo mismo, ganas más, ganas menos. Gano menos. She said that, you know, if she was to be working the streets in Venezuela, it would be even less than the $10 that it is. I mean, can you imagine that? How could that be? I wonder if she's ever been to any other countries. Um, and I'm going to ask her, why doesn't she work in the clubs, too? ¿Has trabajado en otro país? O solamente aquí? She's only worked here. Um, y dime una cosa. ¿El trabajo es mejor en los antros, en los clubs, o la calle? En la calle. She says the street work is better than working in the club. ¿Y por qué es eso? ¿Hm? ¿Por qué es mejor en la, en la calle? Porque, o sea, te ven más, casi todo el mundo no entra mucho a los, a los nightclubs. <laughs> She made an excellent point. She said that the reason why working the street is better than nightclub is because you, a lot more customers are driving around and a lot more people see her, okay? And then because a lot more people see her, that's a lot more money that she can make. She said because not everybody likes to enter the nightclub, okay? That's just the way that goes. Awesome. And I'm going to ask her how long she continues in this business and if she likes it. ¿Y cuánto tiempo más piensas en trabajar en eso? Uno, tres años más. She said she's going to give it three more years. Now, I don't know why she came up with three years, but she did. Three more years. Tres años. Y... Pues, ¿qué más te iba a preguntar? What else am I going to ask her? Um, I'm going to ask her about getting out of the business and... You know, if she could leave anytime she wanted to. Pero tú estás trabajando, no estás como obligado de trabajar no. ciertos días, o puedes entrar y salir cuando sí, claro, quieres. Por mi cuenta. Uh -huh. She says she works for her own cuenta, her own bill, her own self, okay? And, you know, no one's taking her money. There, you know, there's, there's no one, there, there's no pimp involved. There's no, um, no regulations. She can come and go as she pleases. It's 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 very easy. Oye, y qué te voy a preguntar? No te molesta la policía o alguien porque no tienes los papeles exactamente sí. en orden. Sí. ¿Y cómo está el asunto ahí? Salgo corriendo. Sí. Sí. Now she said that la migración llega a veces. Sí, la migración. She says that a lot of times the immigration police will show up, and when they do, she just she has to take off running. Y nunca, no, no, nunca te cachan. No. They've never caught her. Y si te, and I'm going to ask her, what happens if she does get caught? Y qué pasó si te cachan? Me dejan detenida por, por el permiso uh -huh. de migración. Uh -huh. O si no, me, o sea, me deportan a Cúcuta. She said what they'll do is they will detain her, they will lock her up until she gets a permission or she can get a permit or something to do with the permission, I wasn't real sure on the translation there, or that they will deport her back to Venezuela. Now, I'm going to ask her, when she crosses the border, I don't think they really ask anything. Pero cuando cruces de Venezuela para acá, no te preguntan permisos ni nada. O sea, no porque nosotros pasamos por un río. They did not ask her any questions when she crossed the border into Colombia because she crossed in a rio, a river, in the countryside, okay? That's how she did it. She went around the bridge. She went around customs. So that's what she did. So, I mean, this is an incredible story, guys. You got a, a poor girl here that's 20 years old. I mean, most 20-year-old girls that are in the United States are, are in college. 
and she's you know working the streets and she's been on the streets since she was 15. That's um, just a terrible situation. I, uh, you know, and, and I do these videos, um, you know, for for views and to educate people on what's going on around the world. Um, you know, this is unbelievable to me. I, I can't believe, I just can't imagine a girl that should be a freshman or a sophomore in high school out on the streets, but that's what it is. You know, and if you look at her face right now, it, it says it all. I mean, she, I guarantee you, she has seen and been through some shitty times, all right? Um, you know, this video does good on YouTube. I've got her Facebook information. I'm gonna be paying her um, most of the money that is derived from this video. And, um, you know, I wish her the best and we'll keep up with her and we'll check on her and we'll see how she's doing, you know, in another four or five months or whatever. Let me translate this to her. Lo que yo estaba diciendo es que te deseo lo mejor y en la vida y todo eso y aquí te ven. Eres mi amiga en Facebook y vamos a seguir hablando y en tres, cuatro meses cuando regreso para acá tal vez nos vemos otra vez. Y digo, ¿qué onda? ¿Sí? ¿Sabe? Ok. Um... And one other thing, I'm going to talk to her now a little bit about. Let's talk to her about single minutes, okay? Uh, I'm going to talk to her a little bit about what's going on with American girls that are her age, and what's going on, and what she thinks about the whole situation. Quería comentarte una niña de 15 años en Estados Unidos está en la preparatoria, anda estudiando, viviendo en su casa. Sus papás cuando tienen 16 años se compran carro, no para ella. Y cuando una niña tiene 20 años está estudiando en la universidad, no tiene los papás pagando todo, ella tiene carro, depo en la universidad y, y ustedes están aquí trabajando. Es muy diferente la vida. ¿Cuál, ¿Qué es tu opinión sobre todo eso? Y, ¿Y qué piensas de todo eso? O sea que... Habla fuerte. No sé qué decirte porque me tocó esa vida que llevo y... O sea, la que llevan ella ya no... Hay personas que no la valoran, uh -huh. que le dan todo y no... O sea, no, no, la, no se lo agradecen a sus padres. Uh -huh. Nosotros que sí llevamos esta vida, le agradecemos mucho a Dios que nos va bien y nos cuida y todo. You know, she said that this was just the life that was given to her. She said, cinco minutos. She said, uh, this was just the life that was given to her. And that, you know, some people appreciate it, some people don't appreciate it. But, you know, she understands that girls in the States that are 15 are in high school. And she understands that, um, you know, girls that are 20 are in college and they have cars and they study and their parents take care of them. But she said that that was basically just not the life that that was that she was blessed with so she's just gonna try to make the best of whatever um, guys smash that like and subscribe button if you hadn't done it already um, I'm gonna ask her a few more questions I'm gonna let her get out of here um, there was absolutely nothing between us at all I gave her a lot of money for this interview I wish this girl the best um, just educating folks that's what I'm doing right here bueno pues nos vemos en, en unos tres o cuatro meses espero y ¿Qué más te iba a preguntar ¿no? sobre no más que está mal la situación que hay mujeres tan jóvenes trabajando en eso? Ayer, ayer llegó un operativo allá en Santa Fe uh -huh. y se llevaron muchas menores de edad. Now she did say that the girls are there because the younger girls are want to be there, okay? Now the Colombian police does go in there and they have raids all the time and they take the girls out that are that are minors, okay? But if they're over 18 then they're allowed to keep working. Um, but so there you go. That's good that the Colombian police is doing what they can to uh, to police that activity, um, you know, so they don't wind up like her. This is just a bad deal, you know. But anyways, we wish her the best. Um, and uh, I don't know. I mean, I gave her 100 bucks for this interview. That's, uh, and I told her I'd pay her a commission on what the video makes too. And that's equal to 10 customers okay so that's it and uh look at that face guys that says it all that's not a, a happy face that's not a bad deal so we think about how fortunate you are you know all right bueno pues es todo. Sí. all right guys see you down the road